Hey, what's up everyone? Today I am back at it again. This time I am going to bring you some more news about Power World, specifically Tencent. It has been having some talks with Power World. Essentially, they're going to be bringing some better dedicated servers to Power World. We'll get into that. As well as Tencent is also planning on developing their own type of Power World game. There is a lot more that we will be talking about in today's video, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's start off by discussing the new dedicated servers that will be arriving here shortly for Power World. There was a report over at PR Times. If you guys would like to, you can definitely check out this article, although you will need to translate it. Now at the top here, you can see this right here that says, quote, By utilizing Tencent Cloud Lighthouse, a cloud service developed by Tencent Cloud for lightweight operation scenarios, we will provide a better gaming experience to Power World players around the world. Tencent Cloud, which provides cloud services to World and Pocket Pair CEO, CEO Takuro Mizubi have announced that they have agreed to collaborate. Tencent Cloud has been designated as an official partner for the construction of a dedicated multiplayer server for the popular game Power World, developed by Pocket Pair, and will provide Tencent Cloud Lighthouse a cloud service for lightweight operation scenarios." End quote. This right here is huge for Power World because they need something like this to where they can run their servers without any real issues. I know previously there were some issues with some lagginess, some terrible connections, but on top of that, the biggest problem of all were cheaters. Now for those that do not know what exactly was going on, pretty much cheaters or hackers were coming into the game, banning players, spamming the world so that the server would shut down, and worst of all, they would demote the players as well. So if you were like level 10, you would go back to level one and all that time would be practically wasted. Anyways, it's great to see that Power World has found somebody to collaborate with when it comes down to these dedicated servers. One of the things that you guys might be wondering what makes Tencent so great? Well, that's a good question because from what Tencent has said is that you can create a dedicated server in three seconds. For example, right here you can see at the top it says, quote, setting up a dedicated multiplayer server will allow players to customize their gaming environment, allowing players to enjoy Power World even more privately with friends and acquaintances. Through Tencent Cloud Lighthouse, you can build a dedicated server in just three seconds without any complicated settings. End quote. This right here is going to make things a lot easier, and the fact that they have stated without any complicated settings, to me personally, that sounds like it's going to be user-friendly, which is a plus. You know, something that someone can just pick up and figure out how to use it instantly without really getting confused. And there's also the fact that when you do create a dedicated server, it only takes three seconds to do so. This is going to make a massive difference when it comes down to creating servers, and I think Power World found a great company to collaborate with. Now, there is some good news here because if you guys did not know, this is not just for Japan or the Asia Pacific region, right? This is going to be available for pretty much everyone. If we take a look back at the PR Times page, we can see this right here in the middle that says, quote, Through this collaboration, Tencent Cloud will expand its cloud service for building multiplayer dedicated servers, not only in Japan, but also also in Americas and the Asia Pacific region, including South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Power World aims to provide a better gaming experience for players, end quote. And as I said, it's pretty much for everyone. There are some, you know, regions on here that are not listed, but yeah, I'm sure it will be adjusted here soon. When it comes down to these servers, it's going to be exciting, and I'm just so happy to see that Power World has found, again, someone that they can collaborate with. Now, not only that, but Tencent is also going to be collaborating with not just Power World, but with more Japanese companies. They have mentioned this down below right here saying, quote, Through our partnership with Pocket Pair, Tencent Cloud hopes to continue contributing to a further value creation and popularization of a cloud service in the gaming industry. In addition, we will continue to provide high quality cloud services to Japanese companies and strive to provide the best entertainment experience to our users. End quote. When it comes down to the servers, it's not only going to benefit Power World, but some more Japanese companies, which is really exciting to see. So when it comes down to Tencent servers, when can we expect to see that on Power World? Well, that is a good question, and I would like to assume it will be tomorrow. Now, why do I believe so? Well, it has been some time since they have said, you know, hey, we're trying to figure out the server situation, and now that they have confirmed this collaboration, I would only assume that it's going to happen tomorrow. Now, is there a possibility that I could be wrong? 
Absolutely. But with all the information being provided, it seems like a no-brainer for Power World to release these dedicated servers with that major update. And I would like to say yes, I do believe the dedicated servers and the brand new PAL will be arriving tomorrow. I definitely believe so, especially with the proof with the Billy Billy video and all that. Which, if you guys did not know, Power World has an official Billy Billy account, which I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's like B I L I L B L. I don't know. It's a bunch of stuff. You'll see it here soon. Regardless of the name, they have an official account over there, Power World specifically, and they did mention in the description that the update would be arriving towards the end of March. If you take a look at this video right here, then go towards the description. It says, quote, there will be an update at the end of March. Please stay tuned, end quote. Then if we head back to Bucky, he says this over on the official Power World Discord. And I have brought this up recently in the other video, but I'm bringing it up for video purposes. This is what Bucky had to say. Nothing to leak. We have not said anything to anyone. That Billy Billy video is literally us though, not exactly a leak. And that is how I know the update is going to be arriving tomorrow because of that information specifically and the fact that Bucky, the community manager over at Power World, has confirmed that this is arriving. There is just a lot of exciting things coming to Power World and I cannot see where they go from here and it's just going to be an awesome thing to see. With all this information being said, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about the new dedicated servers coming from Tencent? Do you think it's a good idea? Or are you just like, nah, I would rather have someone else? Anyways, continuing on with Tencent, it appears that they are also planning on creating a Power World type of game that is really, really inspired by Power World, and we'll get into it right now. Take a look at this. This right here is a financial post, and if you guys would like to check that out, definitely do so. This is specifically by the Bloomberg News, and it says at the top right here, quote, Tencent's next big gaming bets draw on viral phenom Power World. Then if we continue on down below, we can see this right here, which says, quote, Tencent's Holdings LTDs, two most accomplished creative studios are making mobile games in the style of this year's biggest viral hit, Power World, in hopes of rebooting the company's core business. The teams at Timmy and Lightspeed are both building games in the style of genre blender Power World, replete with pet companions and stylized violence. According to the people familiar with the matter, the studios operate autonomously, but both seem to have landed on a new formula to seek out another honor of kings that can power Tencent's next wave of growth. End quote. Apparently Tencent saw how successful Power World was, and they're like, yeah, we need to create something like that. And if you're wondering, is it going to be for PC, is it going to be for console, or better yet, is it going to arrive on Switch? No. Actually, it's a mobile app game. Yeah. Alright, if you're like me, you probably saw this and was like, yeah, I'm okay. Because I'm honestly not into mobile games. I think the whole microtransaction thing really sucks. But in all reality, if you're going to receive a free game, I guess that's what you would expect, right? Now, there has not been any confirmation whether or not this new Tencent game is going to be for free or if it's going to cost. But I would imagine it's going to be something free. What I would like to know is your thoughts on this. What do you think about a mobile game from Tencent that's kind of like Power World? Would you play it or would you just say, nah, I'm good? Let me know down below in the comments. And last but not least, I would like to inform you guys on what to expect tomorrow. We do have the assumption that the dedicated servers will be arriving tomorrow. And we also know that Bella Noir is coming. There's also two different Bella Noirs. There's actually the basic version and there's also the raid version. And if you guys would like to see that, it's right here on the achievements. One says Twilight Siren and the other says Eclipse Siren. The other one says that it's a Bella Noir Libero. Not only that, but there's also something else that we can expect from this update. Apparently, there's going to be some more easier ways to acquire PAL fluid. I have went over this information in the past previously, but there was a comment right here that said this, which is basically, will there be an easier way to acquire PAL fluids at the ranch or, you know, somewhere else? And Bucky replied with a smiley face, which seems like a hint that we might just receive something there. Now, besides all the cool stuff that we are going to be receiving, is there going to be any fixes for the game in general? Yes, I would automatically assume this because they have done this in almost every patch. There is a lot of exciting things to expect from Power World, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. So, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now, turn those notifications on, and if you have any questions, again, comment down below. Thank you guys for the support, and I will see you all in the next video.